Hello, the viewers of The Pioneer. How are you? I hope you are healthy and well. In our reports in the past days, we have mentioned the problems of secrecy in the Russian army. We see that this problem is getting bigger. Recently, a Russian volunteer revealed the positions of the Russian soldiers on the Luhansk front line. I also shared with you in our reports how important secrecy is for the army. With the recent development, it has become clear that the secrecy crisis in the Russian army has grown even more. With the developments on the Donetsk front line in recent days, the situations in the Russian army has been clearly seen once again. Moreover, the information provided by the Russian volunteer also shows how great losses of the Russian army are. So, what is the latest information given by this Russian volunteer? Let's like let. Let's take a look at the developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to convey the developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war in the most detailed way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. You can also help us reach more people by commenting on our videos. This is very important to me. Now let's start if you're ready. The Pioneer reports. As you know, one of the areas where there is a fierce struggle between the Ukrainian armed forces and the Russian armed forces is the Donetsk front line. On the Donetsk front line, the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces are heavily attacked by the Russian armed forces. Troops of the Russian armed forces are carrying out meat attacks against the Ukrainian positions. As you know, the attacks on the positions of the Ukrainian army here are generally called the meat attacks. So, what was the meat attack? The meat attack refers to the intensive attacks of the Russian troops on the Ukrainian positions in waves, without any fire support from the troops. The Ukrainian armed forces repelled the majority of these attacks with artillery activity in the region. It is often stated by the Ukrainian sources that the meat attacks were destroyed by the Ukrainian armed forces, in which the Russian army suffered many casualties. However, Russian sources generally denied this information. Recently, however, a Russian volunteer accidentally revealed the losses of the Russian army. Anton Grushchenko, an advisor to the Ukrainian foreign minister, made the following statements on the subject. A volunteer supplier from the Russian army came to the Russian church to ask for the donations. While speaking, he accidentally mentioned the tribal numbers of the casualties near Donetsk and the miserable situation of the Russian soldiers who are still alive. And what did the Russian volunteer say in the church? Let us tell you the speech made by the volunteer. Hello everyone, I am the first volunteer from the St. Petersburg. My name is Verkiev Igor Grashchenky. At the moment, there is a Russian regiment in the Donetsk region, which is constantly advancing. I was not there for 10 days, during which time the enemy destroyed more than thousands of people. As you can see, the media embargo imposed by the Russian administration has once again been broken. And again, with the help of the Russian volunteers, as you know, the leaders of the Russian Federation are making a concrete effort to conceal the losses of the Russian army on the front line. However, the losses of the Russian armed forces have increased to such an extent that efforts of the Russian administration to hide these losses no longer yield results. We can understand the nature of the losses here as follows. According to Colonel Alexander Stepon, spokesman for the Ukrainian Tavrysk Forces Group, Russian forces continue their ground offensive in groups of 10 or 20 people each. We can say that at least 20 Russian groups continue their operations, especially around Avdiivka. From this point of view, it is possible to say that the losses of the Russian army in the vicinity of Avdiivka and the Donetsk front line are higher than the Russian sources indicate. The Ukrainian armed forces are resisting the attacks of the Russian armed forces in the field with great courage and determination. However, the struggle is of course not limited to this. As you know, in current century, wars are not won only on the field, or let us put it in this way. All kinds of rifles and firemen are used to the battlefield. However, there are also weapons used on the desk. Of course, developing technology is now an important part of wars, especially intelligence activities and electronic warfare systems are of a great importance in technological warfare. The Russian Federation has been hosting many illegal cyber attack teams for many years. As a matter of fact, we see here that a similar methods that Russia has used before has not worked again. 
As we have shared with you in our previous reports, a military experts on the equipments of the Russian armed forces said that they were quite good in theory, but in practice they did not have the expected effect. In other words, the Russian military used the statements that meant that only weapons can propagate as well. In parallel with this issue, we have learned that the Russian cyber attack teams are not as good as it claims. In addition, Ukrainian cyber attack teams have recently shown us that Russian cyber security is ineffective just like cyber attack teams. Ukrainian cyber attack teams infiltrated the data of the Russian Ministry of Defense. The Ukrainian cyber attack groups, called Cyber Resistance, shared the details of its own operations with Ukrainian media outlets. Members of the group reportedly hacked into the Ukrainian members of the group reportedly hacked into Russian Defense Ministry's information and mass communications department and gained access to the Russian media monitoring and analysis systems called Katyusha. According to the group's claims, the group was able to obtain an analysis, internal documents and software used by the Russian military propagandists. The cyber attack group was reportedly able to view documents related to the Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Krashchenko. The Defense Ministry usually holds daily briefings led by a Konoshenko outlet. The cyber attack group was reportedly able to view documents related to the Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konoshenko. The Defense Ministry usually holds daily briefings led by Konoshenko outlining the process of Russia's invasions of Ukraine, which is called a special military operation. Russian media describe Konoshenko as the face of the war. Among the information allegedly intercepted by the Ukrainian cyber attacks groups are reports on the Russian sources in Telegram channels. The majority of these reports relate to channels that provide information about Russian military losses and oppose the Russian military's war in Ukraine. The intercepted information also includes attempts to terminate the work of these channels and bloggers. It is also found that a letter dated 14 November stated that Russian troops had withdrawn from an important position in the Kherson region of southern Ukraine. However, open Russian sources claim that there was a still Russian domination in the region. The intercepted information reveals both the lies told by the states of the Russian Federation and its attitude towards those who tell the truth and clearly shows us that Russia is not at all strong in terms of cybersecurity. So, what do you think? Will the confessions of the Russian volunteer affect the Russian army? Do you think the Russian army is hiding the truth? What do you think the effects of the attacks carried out by the Ukrainian cyber attack teams will be? Do you think Russia will make a counter move? Let me know in the comments. I read and care about all your comments.